Hussein had gathered all his friends and companions in his tent. My friends, my companions, tonight is the last night. Tomorrow is the day of Ashura. Tomorrow is the day of Shahadat, martyrdom. None of us will be spared by Yazid's soldiers. Imam Hussein continued, My friends, my companions, you have suffered enough. There is still time to save your lives. Escape in the darkness of the night. I will have no objections. I will forgive you. Go, my friends. Go, my companions. Imam Hussein blew the candles off. There was total darkness. Anyone could have escaped without being seen or embarrassed. After a while, Hussein lit the candles. How many ran away? One, two, five, ten? No one. Why did they not run away to save their lives? Because my fellow Husseini, they had recognized the truth. Because they knew Hussein was right. Because they knew Hussein was on the true path. Because they knew their sacrifice would save Islam. Hussein was lucky to be blessed with true friends and best companions, faithful, truthful, and pious. Our greetings to those 72 martyrs of Karbala for their great sacrifice for Islam. Ashura came to the land of Karbala. One by one, Hussein's friends and companions were martyred. By ASR time, Hussein was left alone. The time had come for Hussein to go to the battlefield. Hussein said Fiaman Allah to everyone. Hussein, with his sword Zulfikar on his waist, mounted Zuljiana, his horse. Hussein rode his horse to a small mount. He then called out loudly, Why are you crying? My brother Hussein, when you called out, Is there anyone to help me? Ali Asghar fell from his cradle. Hussein knew what Ali Asghar was trying to say. Hussein picked up baby Ali Asghar and whispered in his ear. Ali Asghar stopped crying. Um, Rubab, I am taking Ali Asghar to the battlefield with me so that I can get some water for him. What did Hussein whisper in Ali Asghar's ear? What made Ali Asghar stop crying and to smile? Hussein had whispered, My son Ali Asghar, do you want to come to the battlefield with me? Um, Rubab changed Ali Asghar's clothes. Imam Hussein carried Ali Asghar to the battlefield. Ali Asghar was thirsty. Yazid's men saw Hussein approaching with something in his hand. Look, Hussein is coming with the Quran. Hussein walked to Yazid's soldiers. He held Ali Asghar high with both his hands and said, O oh, soldiers of Yazid, you feel I have offended you, but what has this little child done to you? I beg you to give water to this innocent little child. Not one of Yazid's soldiers brought any water for Ali Asghar. Once more, Imam Hussein begged, Maybe you think that when you bring water for this child, I will drink it too. I will put this little child on the ground. Hussein placed Ali Asghar on the burning sand of Karbala. Ali Asghar lay quietly on the hot sand of Karbala. No water came for Ali Asghar. My little Mujahid, my little soldier, you are a grandson of Ali. Ali Asghar, fight your jihad with your tongue. Little Asghar stuck his dry tongue out and moved it over his dry lips, looking towards Yazid's men. The little soldier shot a strange arrow, his dry tongue. The little soldier's fight was very effective. Little Ali Asghar was fighting jihad his way. Silence the little child. Hermala aimed an arrow at Ali Asghar. Poor Hussein, the poor father, who came to get water for his little child. Instead of water, Ali Asghar got an arrow in his neck. Hussein gently pulled the arrow from Ali Asghar's tiny neck. Blood gushed out from Ali Asghar's neck. A voice came from the ground. No, Hussein, do not let Ali Asghar's blood fall to the ground, otherwise no crops will ever grow from this earth. A voice came from the sky. No, Hussein, do not let the blood gush towards the sky, otherwise no drop of rain will ever fall from this sky. Poor Hussein wiped Ali Asghar's blood on his face. Hussein started walking towards his tents. He saw Ali Asghar's mother, Umm Rubab, standing by his tent, a mother anxiously waiting for her baby. Hussein thought, how can I face Umm Rubab? What shall I tell her? How can I tell her that her baby has been martyred without water? How, how? Seven times Hussein went forward and then turned back, saying, Inna lillahi wa inna ilai raja'un. Umm Rubab took her little child, Ali Asghar. She hugged him and cried her heart out. Come with me, Rubab. Enough, Rubab, enough. Let us bury our baby Asghar. Hussein and Umm Rubab walked to the back of the tents. Hussein dug a small grave with his sword, the Zulfikar. Umm Rubab placed Ali Asghar in the small grave. 